So in class, your teacher is most likely talking about the redshift, blue shift. What it means is the following. Okay, so let's say we've got planet Earth over here, and this is up standing, this is us standing here. And on planet Earth, we've got these cool machines that are able to detect frequency from the stars. Okay, so let's say we've got some stars out here in the sky. And obviously stars are busy releasing light. Now that light travels as a frequency. So let's say in 2010, the year 2010, our little machines that we have that can detect the frequencies, let's say they detected a frequency of this star as 100 hertz. Then we fast forward the clock to the year 2020, and this same star is now emitting a frequency, meaning how many times the waves are hitting this little instrument. Let's say the frequency is now 90. So why would the frequency drop? Would, does that seem like the star is moving closer, meaning that the, the light waves would compress? Or is it because the star is moving further away and so it's dragging out the wave? It's the dragging out the wave and that's why less waves are arriving per second. And so because scientists have observed that the star's frequency is getting less, they have said that the Earth is busy or the atmosphere, the galaxy is expanding, meaning the stars are moving further away. And we know that because the frequency that the stars are emitting is changing or it's becoming less. Now, if we look at the seven colors in invisible light, we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Now, frequency increases like this, but wavelength increases like that. So this is frequency, and then this is wavelength. This means that colors like blue, indigo, and violet have a very high frequency, so they look like this. But then your colors that are red, orange, yellow, they are more calm. They have a long wavelength, but a very low frequency. So red has a low frequency, but a very high wavelength. Blue has a very high frequency, but a very low wavelength. And so there I've summarized that there, that blue has a low wavelength, but a high frequency. Red has a high wavelength, but a low frequency. And so what are we starting to observe here with these instruments? We're starting to observe that the frequency is going lower. Okay, so that's like red, low frequency. And so what scientists are now saying is that the frequency of the stars is shifting more towards red. And that's because the frequency is getting lower and red is associated with low frequency. That's all that you really need to know about this red shift, blue shift. It's that over time, scientists have observed that the frequency that is being released from the stars is becoming less. That is like an ambulance that is driving away from you. So the, the, the waves are being dragged out and so the frequency is becoming less. And so a low frequency is associated with the color red. And so that's why we call it the red shift. And that's all guys. So thank you very much for watching.